Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Um, I just wanted to t share a personal story I wrote about how I went from zero to a hero at my last job at AMPI. Um, if you're looking for some inspiration on how to get better at your job, just stick around because I'm just going to share the story. And in the story, it should go over, you know, it should be pretty clear how you can advance yourself at your job. So when I first started at AMPI, I was a heavy utility worker. I was completely new and didn't know what to expect. I was put with a trainer and just focused on following his instructions as being as uh, receptive as possible. They moved me around a lot to different positions because of the nature of the job. Heavy utility meant that you do any job, not just like one set job. When I was moving around, I observed a lot of unprofessional behavior around me. So all I did was make a conscious decision to stay professional, keep my mouth shut, and not get involved in any of the noise. Because of this, I was very early invited to a special retention meeting program at the company because the company had a really high turnover rate. So I was a special boy, but I just kept showing up, trying my hardest and just doing what, 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 whatever was asked of me, even if I didn't know how to do it. This attitude eventually led me to being recommended for machine operator position, which was at the time unheard of because most people would wait five to 10 years to even get a shot at a machine operator prior to me. As an operator, my first trainer was one foot out the door because he was about to retire. So he just, I, my guess is just tried to get me to quit. He was an asshole to me the entire time. But all I did was just keep my mouth shut. It just remained persistent. After he was done, a couple weeks later, my second trainer was a very supportive. And I confided in her about the nerves I was having, which helped. However, once she left, I was thrown into the deep end by myself. This is where hell began. The survival aspect of my job was crucial. When I say it was like a rainforest in survival, I mean that the job stripped me down to the bare bones. All of my dreams, aspirations, everything was gone. The only thing left was me and the objective of getting the freight out the door. I started to obsess over the process and the objective. I focused on what was necessary to maintain, maintain a baseline objective to not get fired. By breaking everything down to just that focus, my actions became more efficient every time I did it because I was working towards that one simple objective, not getting fired. In my head, there was no company politics, no thoughts about the future, no career aspirations, no drama at home. Every time I clocked in and walked into that room by myself for the first hour every day, I mentally prepared myself for when everyone else would show up and what I needed to do to get to the end of my shift. That's it. I would count down the minutes and I would count down the hours and the days just to get to the next day. All of this hyperfixation on the baseline goal made me a vicious animal when it came to producing. It started as survival, but then I started to pump the numbers up more and more. I solved one problem at a time. And as I solved the little things, I started to solve bigger issues. It was a compounding effect, and then that's what I mean by the survival, survival aspect. Over time, by pushing through my insecurities and anxieties to survive, I started to win people over to my side because I was useful. My consistency and pers perseverance started to pay off. After two years of this relentless effort, I became the best operator in the plant, in my opinion. I focused on the job, managed my emotions, and didn't let setbacks deter me. To sum up, going from zero to hero is about perseverance, consistency, and maintaining professionalism, even when nobody else around you is. That's all you can do. My journey at AMPI taught me that hard work and the right attitude can lead to incredible growth and success. And I'm not talking about monetary. I ended up quitting because as I became more valuable, my pay did not go up. So we parted ways. So. That's my quick story I wrote down, and I hope it inspires you to push forward at your own job. I know it's nothing, nothing crazy, no like elaborate breakdowns or anything like that, but I feel like it's just a basic set of premises, and like my basic story does cover that. Maybe I can make more videos in the future about it, um, but I just hope you found it helpful. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to throw this together and put something together positive for, I don't know, I'm firing in the dark here, so... Hope that helps, and uh, if you're here this far, you might as well subscribe. So uh, I'll just catch you later, and uh, thanks for watching.